Hey y'all. So as many of you know, I just moved across the country, like across the whole country. I used to be in Nashville and I'm now on my hiatus from piercing, living in Philly with my partner. But moving means packing and unpacking. So I thought I would take you along with me for probably everyone, including my own's favorite part of unpacking. We're unpacking all of my plugs and body jewelry today. And everyone is always asking me for a collection tour and to look at everything I have and to hear more about my pieces. So this seems like the perfect chance to do that. So let's jump right in, come with me, unpack my whole setup and uh, yeah, let's go. First of all, for those wondering just how I travel cross country with all of my jewelry, the answer is actually pretty simple. I wrap everything up in little bundles of paper towel and rubber bands. And honestly, it works. And I, uh, I figured out this system of packing uh, many moons ago working at one of my last studios. We did a lot of convention work, so we were having to travel and take all of our fun organics and plugs and stuff with us to conventions, and this was how we packed everything. And you know what? It worked really great. It's very affordable. It's pretty easy. So if you've got a ton of body jewelry, I mean a ton, this is the way to do it. But uh, it's completely unorganized. I don't know what any single piece is. So let's unpack. Let's see what we got. Well, here we go, right off the bat. Starting, starting with a winner. Uh, these are my Megalodon teeth weights. These are from Diablo Organics and they're beautiful. They're one of a kind. They're actual Megalodon tooth fossils and they're so cool. They've got rutilated quartz and mother of pearl. These are the heaviest and I think the most expensive pair in my collection. They're rad. These are the mini Megs. So these are the little tiny twins to those big stinking ones. And just, just for reference, I mean, these are huge. <laughs> Oh, and then yes, I do have a third pair of Megs. These have some really beautiful genuine opal and ignore the silver saddles. These have patinaed, especially from traveling and packing. So they need a good polish. Once I polish them up, they'll be bright and shiny. As an aside, would y'all want to see me do a video polishing all of my hangers and weights? Do y'all care about that? Let me know. I, it could be like a good ASMR video. It would be like huh, probably a few hours of me polishing. What do we think? Oh yeah, and then the last in my collection of uh, Megalodon teeth. These are the little Meg, like, jangly ones. These are so cute. Also in desperate need of a good polish, but they're so fun. These one-of-a-kind big crystally boys are so fun. Um, they're from Buddha Jewelry Organics. These are a one-off. I actually got them from uh, Anna Beal, who doesn't wear them anymore. And they are heavy, but very comfortable to wear all day long. You no, know, this is a good pair because they have their own box. They made a collection of these wings, um, but each pair was unique. And these are made of glass. Um, they were done in collaboration with a glass and porcelain artist. But a lot of times when I wear these or show these off, um, people think that I'm wearing actual bird wings. And I've had quite a few people get mad at me and yell at me about them. Um, but they are glass. And um, these were designed to represent like deforestation and loss of avian life in natural resources in Mexico where Gorilla Glass is located. And they're they're beautiful. Um, and I think it goes to show how effective the craftsmanship is that when I wear these, people think I'm wearing like actual bird wings.
So after about two and a half hours worth of work, not counting like a lunch break, um, we're done. We've unpacked. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at uh, what we're working with. It's moments like this when I, I ask myself, do I, do I own too much body jewelry? Um, but then I think about how often I do actually wear all of these and how many awesome memories I have behind a lot of these. And yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it. So let's take a quick peek at some of my faves and some of the pieces that stand out to me. Um, and then we're going to unload it all into my jewelry cases. I made this take way longer than it has to by filming this video, but it's worth it for y'all. Is a juicy glittery amethyst from uh, Grit Lapidary gotta be a fave. Also, I get I probably the most comments and compliments on these out of any pair of plugs that I own. Which is crazy because I also own things like these amber flowers from Dendrite Labs, which are unreal. These chrysophrase and citrine from Hard on Sleeve, fully hardware set, no adhesives. This absolutely unreal rutilated quartz from Grit Lapidary. And we can see some hematite and iron inclusions. My favorite pair, my Emerald Fleck Nephrite Jade from Dendrite Labs. I, you have to feel these to really appreciate how amazing they are, but the finish is like almost soft. It's so well polished. My Vanitas plugs from Oaks Aesthetics, inspired by like haunted Victorian mirrors. My custom Sailor Moon plugs from Oaks Aesthetics. So cute. These are boxwood with inlays from a Lithuanian church um, from like the stained glass. And these are really precious to me because a bunch of my family on my mother's side hails from Lithuania. These are my even bigger wood hoops from Bali, uh, and they look like they'd be super heavy. They're actually very lightweight. These are actual, like, couple million year old fern fossils from Diablo, uh, and they're so cool. My giant crystal hoops from Diablo. These are the second heaviest pair of my collection, and uh, these are hefty. I want to say they're coming in at just under 200 grams, and the inclusions in some of these crystals are unreal. If you know, you know. This is some OG zoomorphic jade, and yeah, these are, these are a precious piece of body piercing and body jewelry history. But I cannot get out of their container. Um, but these are beautiful. And these pieces are some of the reasons why I started stretching. The Majesty Black from Maya. Um, they are discontinued. They're solid silver and one of the heaviest, just like simple hangers that I own. But I am a sucker for heavyweights, so these make me happy. These guys from Dendrite Labs with amber inlays, so good. Sorry to break everyone's heart with my collection of blessings to you. These are discontinued um, designs. This company is no longer in existence. Which is a shame because everything they made was so cute. Like these little cicadas. Even little jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween. Alright, so it's been about 25, maybe now 45 minutes since I filmed that last bit. Um, the cats have not been helping. However... Progress. All of my plugs have been migrated into this jewelry case. It looks like so much when it's all spread out on the bed, um, but it's actually a pretty reasonable amount when it's organized into the cases. So now I've got to set up my weights case. And what we have left to unpack is, well, it's all unpacked. What we have left to move into the cases are all of the weights. And all the plugs that were here are gone. Progress. The question is, can I finish it all before Carl gets home? 
<laughs> and that way we can do our cleaning tasks for the day together. Stay tuned to see if I can. Okay, last update. <laughs> we did it. All of the hangers are in their cases as well. Look at that. I'm so happy finally having everything unpacked and having access to all my jewelry. Also, these super cool jewelry displays were made for me um, by South Shore Adornments and they're really rad. And I happen to have some extras that with my new case and layout, I'm not gonna use. Should I do another giveaway? Is it too soon after the last giveaway? Thoughts, opinions, feelings. Thank you all so much for coming along and hanging out and unpacking and spending the day with me. And yeah, I've been putting off this <laughs> since I moved in because I knew it was going to be so much work. But we did it. We got it done today. Um, did y'all enjoy hanging out and spending the day with me? Should I do more like daily vlogs or do y'all just want to see the piercing related content? Um, let me know. And if you liked seeing all this jewelry or you want to see more about my jewelry, ooh, or you want me to do that polishing jewelry ASMR or even just a polishing metal jewelry tutorial, that would be a good one. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. As per usual, if you enjoy my content, please give me a like and a subscribe and can't wait to hang out next time. <laughs> Bye.